Hey, namaskar everyone. Hope everybody's awesome today. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. And if you're already a subscriber and you watch my videos, I appreciate it. And guess what? It's adventure day. That's right, it's time for another adventure. Um, where are we today? Well, we're in Pennsylvania. More in Pennsylvania, to be exact. This is Seneca territory. Now remember I said that. We may or may not talk about that a little later in the video. You know what, as a matter of fact, we will talk about that a little later in the video. Um, but we are in Warren, Pennsylvania. We're actually in the Allegheny Forest. And today we're gonna check out the Kinzu Dam started in 1960 completed in 1965 it's 179 feet tall 1877 feet long and 1245 feet wide um, the sole purpose of this dam was for flood control as is with every dam it, it flood control water quality and to harness power this one specifically was for flood control okay so they build a dam for flood control but why you know you, you don't just put a dam somewhere just because in 1936 pittsburgh pennsylvania had a major flood now they had floods before that as well a little side note if you do go to pittsburgh pennsylvania there's buildings down downtown and they have plaques on the sides of the wall that, that state the date and the water levels of, of uh, some of the floods they had. But in 1936, Pittsburgh had a major flood, and I think it was St. Patrick's Day. It was either St. Patrick's Day or right around St. Patrick's Day. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, now, because of that flood, Congress passed a Flood Control Act of 1936 and 1938. Now, look around. Who doesn't like looking at dams? They're, they're big, they're loud, the water's cool to look at. I mean, look at the scenery. That, that's a fish hatchery over there. Look at the scenery. The scenery is usually always awesome around dams. Um, and out here, there, there's fishing, there's hiking, there's kayaking. You can camp, you can horseback ride, whatever. We're out in nature, you know, so you can do all those kind of things. Um, and actually, they're not flying anymore. Uh, when I first got here, there were some, there were some eagles flying around. Um, there's a lot of eagles this year, which is really awesome. So what I think we're going to do next is go up to the top of the dam. We can't walk across it, but we can get up into that little corner over there. That little corner over there, we're going to go and we're going to look over on both sides. There's a lake on the one side, and then we can look down on this. You used to, back in the day, I wish we still could, you used to be able to get right beside that where the water was like four feet away and you could feel the spray on you. Um, I don't know if it was like a safety thing. Uh, that they quit that and that that was that was years and years ago um but there's i was gonna take actually there's some vultures up there flying around i was gonna go up here and uh do the intro but there was there was a bunch of people up there so i just came down here and walked this trail so i told you some good stuff about the dam and let's face it when a dam is built and it's doing its sole purpose it's a good thing it's a really good thing you know no one is denying that in any way um but just remember oh there's some bees there he is right there little little bees there's bees all over the place there i go talking getting off subject just remember and i want you to remember that there's always 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 two sides to the damn story so i'm gonna hike back up i gotta go through yeah i gotta go through all this stuff 
and I gotta get up up there. Um, and I hope I don't have ticks on me by the time I get home tonight. So yeah, let me hike back up to the top and uh, I'll see you on top of the dam. Hey, you know what? I got to the top of that little uh, little path. I just kind of wanted to show you where I was going to take the video from. Here is the actual overlook from at the top here. So yeah, if you do come and visit, you don't have to go where I did. But there's actually two more things that I wanted to show you. I'm not going to get real close though. But, uh, oh boy. Look at that hornet's nest right there. Look at that. And they're, they're in there flying around. I'm not getting close. <laughs> I don't want to go home off my little vacation. Yeah, there's the hornet's nest. And then let me show you something else. I almost got caught in it uh, when I first got here. There's a bee's nest in the ground. I don't want to get too close to this one. They were swarming earlier. And the whole reason I went over here, I don't see them flying nowhere no more. I went over here to check out those mushrooms. There's mushrooms all in here, right? And there's, yeah, there they are. You can see them, I don't know if, yep. There's a bunch of bees in the ground flying around right in there. They're in the ground. They were all swarming earlier. Okay, they're not swarming. And I'm not going to make them swarm. <laughs> but yeah. I thought those were kind of cool to check out. All right, I'll see you on top. Okay, we made it to the top. It isn't really that far of a drive from the bottom to the top, like a minute, two minutes tops. But here's the other side of the dam. It's the lake, it's a nice view. And we'll take a walk over there. Now I'm sure everybody knows what a treaty is, right? I hope so. Well, a treaty is even more binding than a law. Not being said, and, and I'm going to get right, right off the bat. This isn't a history lesson about the American Revolutionary War. It's not a history lesson of laws. It, it's, it has to do with the Kinzu Dam and why and how it was built. Well, there was a treaty after the American Revolutionary War. And that treaty had two very important people. Actually more than that, but I'm gonna focus on two. George Washington and Chief Corn Planter. What did that treaty, what was that treaty about? That treaty specifically stated that this land that I, we're on right now, this right here, this was all Seneca land. The treaty stated that the land of the Seneca would never be taken away. Guess what? Looks like there's a dam built here, doesn't it? Let's take a walk over here and I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit more of the, of the dam. Here's the other side of the dam. You can see Kinzu Dam up there. Here's the lake. I mean, it, it is an awesome view. It's an awesome view. And, and the dam does its sole purpose. Um, but like I said, there's two sides to every dam story. They wanted to build this dam. 
there was talks, like I said, for a long time, 1930s into the 1950s, 1958 to be exact. The Seneca did not want this dam built. And a lot of other people didn't want this, this dam built either because of the treaty. Um, years of, when I say fighting, it wasn't actual fighting, fighting in courts. Um, 1958, that's when the Seneca people lost their rights to their land. And when did this start getting built? 1960. So the government came in and they forced the Seneca people out. Little by little, over, over uh, 150 families were, were here. And they came with trucks. They went to their houses. They moved them. They relocated them. They burnt houses down. They actually forced. Now, we're talking 1960s, not that far ago. They're forcing people off their land. Yeah, 1960s, still forcing people off their land. Uh, there was a couple presidents that broke their oath, let's say, of office. Andrew Jackson was one. And JFK, everybody's favorite president, JFK, he was actually the one that could have stopped this. But no, he did not. He said, no way the dam is going to happen. So there's your favorite president signing for the okay to burn people's homes, to force people off their land, and to relocate people. What a shame. Just think, the Seneca were forced. They were self-sufficient people. They lived off their land. They didn't need none of our Western things. Um, and they were forced to get westernized. Just imagine that. Oh, check this out. I'm not, I'm sticking to my story. There's a rainbow down there. I don't know if you can see it on the video. Yeah, I think you're going to be able to right down there. See, that's where I said you were able to walk to down there on that part right there. You could get right next to the water back in the day. But anyway, just think of just being forced off your land. While there was something that stated, you will never lose it. You will never lose your land. I get fired up about that because it, it actually makes me sick and disgusted. Um, so if, if you can't uphold a president's signature and word, what do you hold on to? You know, what, what really goes on? I mean, what, is, what a scheme. What a bunch of liars. Um, Let's keep walking down here. We can't walk past that gate, but we can walk out here. So that's what the government did. And the Seneca had no say in it. They had to be relocated and uh, forced in the Western ways. That's awesome. Go out a little further. Now the government kept saying, why are you so mad? You're getting new houses, you know, free whatever, this and that. Seneca people didn't want that. You, you, you uh, stole their land from them. So between a president breaking his oath of office and big money, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, forced the Seneca people to lose their land. Their land was flooded, their homes were burnt, and when I say flooded, I'm not talking just about land. We're talking homes, cemeteries, churches, personal belongings. They lost everything. And that probably included some sacred burial grounds as well. I don't know, that's like my opinion on that part 
So that was that was basically the other side of the building of the Kinzu Dam. And actually, still to this day, the Seneca still have to fight to keep their land. How crazy is that? 2021 and, and they're still trying to fight to keep the land. So that, now you heard both sides. get a little close I can feel some of the steam from up here or the water whatever you want to call it yep you used to be able to walk we were we were way down there and there's that gate that that was never there back in the day you could walk all past this you would go right there and you, and you could see how that ramp comes up the cement you could actually stand on that you could get that close to the water so yeah I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing it, it was a safety issue kind of thing. There's the vultures flying. Can you see them? They're usually all over here up in the sky, but <laughs> they're having a good time. Yeah, we can't go. We can't go in there. It'd be cool if we could. Ah, check them out. You'll be able to see them. Can you see the fish down there? I know the sun. You might not be able to with the sun. There's uh, hundreds of them down there. And there's the, there's the birds just chilling, watching traffic go by. Usually, every time I come here, there's usually eagles up in there. But I didn't see him today. I seen him over on that side. I've never been into that fish hatchery, and I would really love to. And I don't know if you can even get over there. You know what? Nah, you have to be able to. We might have to go down there and check that out. I see people fishing down there. Oh man. If I find out if we can get down there, we're going down there. Now I'm just telling you some basic history. Um, you can get into some real in-depth history. Go to the library, get on your computer, look up Corn Planter, look up Seneca, look up Kinzu Dam, the Canadaga Treaty. Again, I'm just giving you basic information that I know. I really want you to investigate some of the places I go to because you, you're probably gonna find out more than I even find out. You're gonna find some little tidbit of information. And if you do, post it in the comments. Always love to hear uh, new information on, on different places. But listen, I just wanted you to hear both sides of the story because everybody hears the good side. Oh, look at this dam. It's nice. It's, you know, it, it, and, and it does. Don't get me wrong. It does serve a good purpose because without this dam, there would be a lot of flooding. But should it have been built with thievery in breaking your oath of office no no it shouldn't have read some books on it come on up to kinzu check this out and uh you'll have a different you'll have a different aspect on it if you know the history with the seneca it's awe-inspiring. There's a lot of stuff to do out here. Just don't take it for granted. Too many people take things for granted. So listen, I just met a guy that was leaving. And he's from up in the area. And he says that we could go down there. So guess what? I think we're going to take a ride. I think we got to backtrack a little bit and get into town and then come back up this way it shouldn't be that far so hopefully I see you down there
All right, let's go. Well, we made it to the other side. Just think, a little bit ago, we were up there. And then at the beginning of the video, we were over there. Um, so this was cool. Um, I told you I ran into a guy up there. Um, he was getting ready to leave and uh, he stopped me and we were talking for a little bit and he actually was the one that told me that there was an access road to get over here um, and he had a couple other stories that were pretty cool um, he told me that him and his buddies when they would go fishing they would call a number and that number would tell you the flow of the water coming out and that would be the deciding point if they would go fishing or not because remember i said that you were able to walk over there and get super close to the water coming out i mean i'm talking you were literally like from me to there from the water you know that that's how close you were you were able to fish over there he said that after 9 11 that they closed that area down and they didn't allow people to uh walk that close anymore so i guess that is what it is i didn't catch his name but i gave him my youtube channel so listen if you found my channel and you're watching i appreciate the information i love local information from people again thank you so yeah we made it to the other side and there's a bunch of signs everywhere that say restricted area oh check it out there's the uh vultures up there flying around yeah see restricted area restricted area i was gonna walk up there and see if i could uh get a picture of that but again it says restricted everything's restricted area restricted area but i i can understand why but yeah check out the foam little damsel flying around got that little weird foam see if I can get uh, see if I can walk a little bit over here <laughs> there's those vultures they're awesome and there's bees everywhere today uh, and I think it's because of all this golden rod all over the place yeah see they even shut that little walkway down there it's kind of sinking in Yeah, it took, uh, from the top, it probably took a good maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get from uh, the one side to the other. But well worth it. I've never been on this side. All the years of coming up here, I've never been on this side. There's the uh, fish hatchery. I wish we could go in that, but I don't think we can. There's the dam. I wish uh, we could walk over there. I don't think we can though. So I don't know. That says no parking anytime. And so does that gate right there. But I'm going to uh, walk as far as I can. Yeah, I I don't even want to think about that water scary. Yeah, see this gate. It says no parking. It doesn't say no walking over. So I don't know if you can get over there or not. Let's uh let's see. Let's see what's over here. look how crazy <laughs> look they got the the lawn mowers they cut the grass like that oh man i don't know if i would trust myself that'd be crazy yeah i don't know if i can go over there or not but there's the uh there's the dam. 
I'll walk as far as I can walk. Hopefully we don't get yelled at. I'm not going to get super close, but yeah, no trespassing. U.S. government property. I'm not going to go any further, but there's the other side of the dam. Yeah, I didn't want to go any closer than I did. I see government property, and I, you know, I don't need no trouble from that. Who knows what uh, what can happen with that? I don't know if they would have really said anything or not, but. I can sit here all day and watch the water. It's a shame though, because you used to be able to get that close over there. Yeah, this is one of my favorite places in the world. And not just Kinzu, but the Allegheny National Forest. It's where I get my mind right. I love the forest, it's great. Um, again, I wanted to do the video so you could kind of see the good in the bad of the dam being built it, it's for a good cause there's no doubt about that you know it, it it helps with the flooding um but then on the other side you had the taking away from the seneca people their land so you know I, i'll leave that up to you on on how your feelings are about that um I hate to see that because that's been going on for a long long time and and it's still it's still going on uh, what a shame what a shame that is but I'll leave it at that if you do get the chance to get up here make the trip definitely make the trip this just by itself is is awesome to see and you'll know both sides of the story you'll know the good side and you'll know the bad side so it'll even be more of a valuable trip for you if you do come up here um and and one more thing because i actually made the same not mistake but i thought that kinzu dam and kinzu viaduct were in the same spot oh they're not oh they're not they're an hour away from each other so don't think hey we're gonna go see the kinzu dam and then we'll just go over and see the kinzu viaduct if you have a full day you can but they're they're not in the same area so um check out my video on that too i i went up there uh right after winter time i made a trip up there but look at this the sky is awesome What a great area. What a great area. But never take it for granted, no matter where you are. Wow. So listen, I want to thank you for watching the video. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Usually every weekend I'm going somewhere, so... Uh, maybe it'll set something off and you'll be like, man, we're going to start taking some day trips. We're going to start taking some road trips, weekend trips. Get out of the house. Go somewhere. Do something. Um, especially when it's nice like this. I mean, look. Look how nice this is. This is great. This is awesome. And when you're out here, the sky is just filled with stars at night. I actually... I might post them um, last night with the GoPro. I got some kick-ass pictures of the Milky Way. So maybe I'll post those. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for coming on today's adventure. And until the next one, wherever that takes us to, Fred and Malenke.